Hi, my name is Vanessa Weck. I'm licensed clinical social worker, LCSW in the state of North Carolina. Today's video is going to be about electronic health records and the specific one that I have, one of the ones that I've utilized in years past and that I intend to try out again in the new year and utilize. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick tour, just show it to you. Uh, I'm actually going to set mine up today. So my account will be totally blank, fresh, empty, and give you a little spin on that. I see in the Alma group, uh, professional networking group a lot, it keeps coming up about electronic health records and which ones to use and kind of debates about this and experiences being shared and stuff like that. And one of the things I've seen has been a pain point around cost of electronic health records. I will admit I am a software geek is what I consider myself to be, which means basically I enjoy and I'm very curious about many things to include, but not only to trying out different software or at least like going to the website and seeing what the deal is. Um, because of the fact that licensed mental health clinicians are considered in the healthcare industry in some way, shape or form, typically throughout the US, um, we as clinicians, are being marketed to very aggressively, in my opinion, by various people running various companies. And, and what I have observed is that a software that is going to be given to someone else for free or very minimal cost is that same kind of software is then aggressively taken and marketed towards us at a super high cost. Um, for example, I've seen you know a contact form that would be given away for free, a free version of it um, to someone else being charged $100 a month to us. And so I'm really careful about this because I am about technology simplifying my life, not making it more complicated and more expensive and to the point where I can't afford to function basically, which is exactly what it has the potential to do. And so, um, you know, like the contact form thing, because of all the government red tape and requirements on us, you know, I've just made the decision because I refuse to hand over all this money um, to do a very simple, I have like a very simple um, email address, mail to type thing. People can click on it and draft an email from whatever, whatever mail system they choose to use and the, the power is in their hands at that point. Um, I also plan on doing what some of you do, which is also if someone wants to schedule an appointment directly, they can link directly to from the website to the software system, uh, electronic health record, Power Diary has a client portal, which I'll show you in a second, kind of quickly. And, you know, like many other electronic health records can schedule directly uh, an appointment that way for like, let's say a consultation to see if your services will meet their needs as an example. But anyways, cost is definitely a big pain point, I know. And I, what I do, because I'm aware of this, is as soon as I check out a software, regardless of what the purpose of the software is, I typically will go straight to the pricing page if I've never heard of them and just scan it real quick to see what the deal is. If I am told by the website that I have to connect basically with a salesperson for a quote demo, end quote, I immediately just navigate away. I'm not interested in wasting my time being sold to essentially. I want to know upfront transparent pricing and features like what's the deal here and then be able to test it and see my way around. Um, so speaking of software, I'm on Zoom right now. And, you know, the f features, which I'm still just struggling along with, I spent a couple hours of my precious time today trying to troubleshoot, trying to adjust my settings, even trying to get a hold of customer service, trying to do a lot of different things, still having troubles with it. I had to adjust the setting for audio just now that wasn't properly adjusted in real time. And I'm just hoping that this video turns out halfway decent on some level. One can only hope. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. Okay, so this is Power Diary. They have a very large website, as you can see. There's a lot of drop down menus there. Um, and you can see here how, you know, it has a lot of features, calendar management, telehealth, client portal, analytics, integration, security, payments and invoices, online forms, um, operations um, manual. I have attorneys help me with my uh, intake forms, in fact, in various forms. In fact, tomorrow I have a consultation scheduled. I've done a video on how I safely access legal help and affordably through a company called Legal Shield. And I did a video on that, so check out my YouTube channel or TikTok because it's a quick little video I did about that. 
Anyway, so here it is. Um, some of my favorite features, I will say, I, I really like the look and the feel of the software for Power Diary. I really like the customer service back when I had it. This has been a, a couple years ago now, but I remember the 24 seven live chat. I don't know if it's the same way. I'm gonna be trying this out. I know they've got some different features that have changed since then. Um, I enjoyed the client portal. My cl former clients I worked with, they found it easy to utilize as well. I found it user friendly. Um, the telehealth, it was very, very user friendly was my experience. And also they had a text message feature. So my clients could text about certain things it can maybe like logistics, for example, around the surrounding appointments and stuff. And I could easily put those text messages into their, their client record, very user friendly system. Um, the online forms honestly weren't my favorite. I mean, they're, they're workable and stuff for me. In fact, I'm going to be working on putting my paperwork for the new year into them today. I've got a lot of work ahead of me with that. Um, it would have been nice if I could just upload the entire form and had the client sign it in some cases. However, um, I did check with Power Diary and they told me that feature was not available at this time either, so that has not changed. So you have to like build the forms was my experience and it seems to be the same way currently. And that was according to the support article I looked at briefly. They have a really great um, support knowledge base right here. Um, I found that to be very helpful as well. They have a lot of video tutorials. I didn't really need too much of that, but you know, it was pretty helpful. And so let me go ahead and start scrolling down here. They also, what's also unique about this electronic health record um, is that they work with a lot of different types of professionals. Some um, licensed mental health clinicians, yes, but also other um, professionals as well. And they, you can see some of that here, physical therapy, psychology, speech therapy, podiatry, osteopath, osteopathy, chiropractic, massage therapy, nutrition, dietetics, clinic management, other healthcare. One of the things that was nice about that was because of the fact that it wasn't just geared towards one type of occupation, they had some different um, helpful features that I hadn't seen in any other um, software system, client management system before. So I really enjoyed that a lot. You know, they advertise these specials, as you can see, um, and comparatively speaking to other electronic health records, especially for what you're getting, I found it to be a good, a very good value overall. Now they have changed their pricing since last time. So that's a little bit difficult um, because I felt like I don't know, I forget exactly what the pricing was, but I remember kind of liking the old model better, the pricing model better than the new one. Fine, you know, like the calendar and stuff to be very user friendly. Um, so a lot of these more expensive software systems I've found to be less helpful, less user friendly, not as good customer service and far more expensive. And so it's just really important to be able to have something that just, that works for me, that works for my clients. That's just, you know, as it should be. Um, and this is a text messaging thing I was kind of mentioning. Now there's more regulations on texting there. There's like a whole bunch of regulations on that now they've introduced across all industries. And so I looked at Power Diary and they're saying something about, you know, it being extra $4.99 a month because of like a dedicated number needing to be assigned and to text with. And this was supposed to be done, the regulations to combat scammers or spammers. Well, I'm here to tell you, I don't think it's done anything because people that are trying to scam are not going to care about this law. They're just going to continue to engage in illegal activity. But now it just makes everything more expensive on the rest of us and increases costs for people. So that's unfortunate. That's a regulatory thing in America that has nothing to do with the software. It's just a thing. Um, the software is just helping kind of facilitate, um, you know, trying to get along with the legal requirement while also serving um, client needs. Here's some secure documentation stuff, is um, billing. So last I recall, it was Stripe is what they were connected with. I think that they still use Stripe as the connection. I'll be really honest with you. I am not a fan of like any of the payment processors out there. I'm not. I have a lot of kind of just things I don't like about it. But I will say that while I use the software, I never had any issues with the billing portion of it, with issuing invoices with clients being able to log in and pay. Like everything was very smooth and was very streamlined and didn't have an issue. And so and I don't know if it'll be easy for you. You know, everyone has a different level of kind of like technical skills and know-how and also just what feels good with software to one person may not to another person. But 
I love this and it worked great for me and for my former clients. And I'm recording this video December 26th, by the way. For a solo practice, you can see the prices here, what it says and what the limits are and kind of what the features are and stuff like that and what the promos are. And then for a group practice, it has a simple feature where you can like click and see how much it would be for 13 people if that's how many you have or whatever and what the different features are. So, so this is what I was talking about, about the the texting and it's optional. This is something that I absolutely intend on utilizing. You know, my I never had a client that was like, you're communicating too much. No, no, no. All my clients wanted as much communication as possible and that included um, text messages. And because of all the regulations in this industry, I found this to be a really perfect solution because I could immediately transfer the text into the client record, um, it really streamline it, really centralize it, and it just was a, it was a great, it was a really great system. I really liked it a lot and didn't have any random text messages floating around. I didn't want any of that. Well, they go into greater detail about all the features. You can see all the features right here. Okay, so I just created my brand spanking new account for the new year. And here it is. This is what it looked like when I signed in for the very first time after creating my account. To be clear, this is an empty account. There's no data in here whatsoever at this time. Simplify your client communications and support your clinic's growth every step of the way. So let's power up your practice and dive right in to Power Diary. All right, so here is the basically screens of what it looks like as I'm checking in for the first time to the software and getting started. There's some different features it shows, video guides, help articles. Okay, so this is what the software looks like as I'm just checking in and getting started. And there's a setup wizard here to assist with that. There's a bunch of different things with configuration of just getting started. So there's a client portal. So branding logo would go here. Available services, tools, form designer. Go to do intake forms. Yeah, there it is. Consents, new client intake form, etc. All right, so that is it. So I just wanted to show you guys this real quick, kind of let you know about another option out there. Asking about this topic, about different electronic health records, and not knowing about, you know, kind of different options and what may be or not be possible. Mm -hmm. And I just say keep an open mind and be aware that there are a lot of different softwares out there, so many different ones. The biggest drawback is just the time it takes to kind of figure it out and determine which one's right for you because it's just a Google search away and then review sites like Captera, G2 is a big one. Um, you can get so much information from those techie review sites about user reviews and learn about features and you know, going to websites and checking it out, going to the pricing section, all things definitely takes a lot of time. I've spent countless hours trying to navigate through all the software options, which continue to evolve daily, honestly. Um, I would just like to see more software that is more user-friendly and reasonably priced for certain things. So there's several, like contact forms would be nice, as well as different HTML, um, custom code options for upgrading basically a website for different purposes. Those are some things I like to see. There's not a lot of competition in that space I feel like right now. There definitely should be more. And I think that's in the future too. So I'm always keeping an eye out. And if I think it's worth doing another video or sharing, I will on this topic. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I'd really encourage you to drop a comment and let me know what electronic health record you are currently using, have utilized, or plan to utilize in the future. And I'd love to know um, what your thoughts are on them, on the price point, on the features, and um, what you feel like if you want to continue on with it or not. That'd be, I'd just be very curious. Um, this is not the only electronic health record I've utilized. I use a different one, which I'm not going to mention. The customer service went downhill. They actually got bought out by another company, which is really common with a lot of different companies. And um, I've seen a lot of complaints now about that since then. And um, also, I know that there are complaints about other electronic health records due to cost and features and how they're kind of allotted on the different pricing plans. 
So there's a lot of options and a lot of pros and a lot of cons to the different options. So love to hear from you. Wish you all the best.